The operation of the third set of locks is similar to that of the existing locks. There are gigantic lock gates which allow the vessels to enter and exit toward the chambers, which are filled with water and act as elevators, raising and lowering the vessels to the different levels existing between the ocean and Gatun Lake until their transit is completed. But there are important differences between the current and the new locks. The new locks have a higher capacity. They are wider, longer and deeper than the current locks, allowing the transit of larger vessels. They are also faster. They require less time to be filled and emptied, and they use 7% less water than the current locks. They have nine basins on the side for recycling water, which makes it possible to save up to 60% of this precious resource. And finally, the lock gates include a set of eight sliding gates which are not hinged V-shaped like the current ones, but rolling gates instead, which are placed and move perpendicularly to the chambers. The design made by the Consortium Grupo Unidos por el Canal, GUPC, provides that when the gates are open, they remain in a recess that can be turned into a dry dock that greatly facilitates maintenance works. Without a doubt, it is a project designed to increase efficiency, effectiveness, and flexibility, so as to provide a response to the strong demand for higher capacity of the Panama Canal.